My name is Emily Hopkins, and I've been playing the harp for 18 years. Before working with Doug, I never really considered myself an artist. I was primarily playing for Weddings and Cocktail Hours, which are more straightforward with song choices and theme. My goal is to get the harp out there as much as possible, and to break that stereotype of it being this boring, exclusively classical instrument, and showing people that there's really a lot more you can do with it. Doug has been helping me break that stereotype, and has been really helping me develop as an artist through creation and experimentation. I have access to this intimate studio space and anything I need to get a project done. Before working with Doug, I never really felt comfortable using effects pedals. Knowing where to start beyond your standard reverb pedal can be super overwhelming. Doug has helped with creative direction and sound exploration. We'll be working on a project, and if I get to a point where I'm not exactly sure what the piece needs next, Doug will kind of just open a drawer and pull out the exact thing I needed, or at least offer five or six different options of what we can use and we'll go from there. Or he'll bring in a session musician who provides exactly what we're looking for. We recently started working on my debut album, and the process has been really interesting so far because it's not just like, here are some hard parts for you to play. It's more like, here are five or six different small musical ideas, some are more fleshed out than others, but we'll see which ones resonate with you the most and work from there. It's like, here are five different places the music could go, but we have to have a discussion about where it should go and where I myself want the music to go. So we'll discuss it further, and Doug will come back with the parts more fleshed out and more developed, and we'll collaborate further. It's really been such a fun and amazing process to find that perfect spot between where I need my music to go and where the music itself needs to go once it's developed a mind of its own.